Hello guys, KP Shamino here and in this guide I'm going to show you guys how you need to catch the unique smallmouth bass. So I did some research like always and the smallmouth bass, the unique that we know by now, uh, you can catch it here in the rock light or the lighthouse like a lot of people call it. So I was fishing for the unique perch. Uh, and I was testing the lures for the unique uh, perch. And once of a sudden I had an unique smallmouth bass, but it was a cloudy day. So that means uh, by now I think everybody was fishing from 6 to 8 a.m. on a sunny day. But I got this fish at 8.20 p.m. on a cloudy day. So that means that between 8 to 9 p.m. on a cloudy day you can catch a smallmouth unique bass too. Probably from 7 to 9 but I cannot confirm from 7 to 8 p.m. because I didn't get a fish there. Okay so first of all I'm going to show you guys my net. So I was fishing for the, the unique perch and I got the unique perch too but that's another movie. So here you can see my unique smallmouth bass with the casting spoon 21 gram 3.0 hook at the late evening on a cloudy day so you can get him on a, yeah, a cloudy day and he gives uh, 7 gold and 411 experience with premium so I was a little bit excited because now we got the time frame on a cloudy day too so uh, and here you can see it that it's true so uh, yeah there is not a lot I can say about this fish so I can show you guys the how you need to catch it i'm going to show you guys my gear and i'm going to say to you guys but i think everybody knows it by now the 28 gram 40 uh, hook uh, works too on this fish so the 28 that's the best jig okay 28 gram 40 hook but the spoon that i'm using is a 30 hook so it's a little bit smaller and maybe it's a little bit better to use on the unique smallmouth bass because it's a smaller hook and it's not a big fish it's only 3.4 kilograms but those two work for sure okay so if you come here just use one of those two uh, you uh, fish in the sweet hours i will say the hours after uh, this uh, net but uh, yeah, that's it. So first of all, I'm going to show you guys the net. You already saw it. Then I'm going to show you guys the setup. So I'm fishing with the Tora 219. It doesn't matter a lot what you use here. Because you don't need to make distance. And it's not a big fish. So you don't need to use like very heavy lines and stuff like that. So that's not important. The fat boy spin 5000. I'm using Fluoro. Always using Fluoro if I go for uniques. Because the line isn't visible. And now with the tips and tricks that you can see now in between loading screens. It's very important because I saw something about trout. Trout can see very good. Therefore you need to use the, the most thin line that you got. So now they give trips to uh, the developers. And that's really cool. Because there is a lot of stuff about how fish handle. And if those guys give the trip tips it will be the same in the game otherwise i think they are just fucking with us but that's called co uh, cool stuff that you can see so i'm using the casting spoon 21 gram 3.0 the red and the white one so that's the gold one and uh yeah the depth doesn't matter here so that's the setup uh, i'm not sure that the yellow with the red dots work here I didn't have a, a small mouth on it, but it's possible that it works. But this works for sure. And of course, the best jig 28 gram 40 hook. So now I'm going to show you guys what I did. So I came here at the lighthouse. And on that buoy, I think it's now yellow green buoy. Uh, it, it was strange because it seems that everywhere was like fish. But that's not really true. The, the fish are sitting on snag points. 
but I didn't saw them at start. It's not like that it's an open water, no. Fish always go to snack points because they are not sitting in open water. They stay there that they can get the prey. So what did I discover? So uh, here you got the buoy and then you got at 48 meters you got the first snack point. But that snack, snack point is totally full with trout. So you don't go into find perch or smallmouth bass there. It's possible that you got a perch and a smallmouth bass there, but I think it's by an accident. I only have trout on that spot. And it's confirmed with a lot of guys that say to me, I got a perch close to the shore. I got a smallmouth unique, Carlos, uh, by the shore. So I can understand that, how that comes, because I'm going to explain you guys how that comes. So 48 meters, you got a snag point. Then at 32 meters, you got the next snag point. And the 32 meters snag points, most of the time there is a small mouth. And I didn't get a perch there, so I'm not sure that the perch is sitting there. And I got wall eyes there too, on the cloudy day. And then if you come a little bit more closer at 90 meters, that's the position of the perch and the smallmouth is there too. So what you need to do to get a smallmouth bass is you need to throw more than 32 meters. So 32 to 34 is the snag point. So if you throw 35 meters, you are going to come over the two snag points and you got a chance to get the unique smallmouth bass. You don't need to throw further than that. Because otherwise you come in the area of the trout. And most of the time you're going to get trout before you are in the area of the smallmouth bass. So 35 meters is more than enough. That's how I do it. Okay. So uh, yeah, and that's just what you need to do. So you just throw in. Uh, I'm not sure. I think I'm going to be, let's see what my meters are. 41 meters, that's more than enough. So, how did I discover that all? The, the casting spoon is really good for getting snag points. Uh, it hooks really hard on, like, uh, environment under the water. So, that's how I know it. So, 41 is not a, a snag point. So, how did I catch the smallmouth bass? I just do stop and go. So, you stop a little bit, you do three reels. You stop a little bit, three reels. Sometimes I strike a little bit in between. It's sometimes a little bit easier to get the fish on because it's very small fish. The uniques are not that big. So I went just over the second snack point. So now we are in the territory of it, or the area of the smallmouth bass and the perch too. But I don't think I'm going to get a bite because it's after nine o'clock. It will drop if I got now a bite because then we can do some more time frames, but uh, I don't think it's going to happen. So now we are getting to the last snack point before you are on the shore. The most people get the unique smallmouth bass behind this snack point. So here sits the smallmouth bass and he follows the lure until, yeah, almost on the shore sometimes. And that's why people get him so close to the shore. Yeah, but I don't think at this time that we are going to get a fish. So guys, that was a little bit, uh, yeah, some info about the the position here, snack points, and how you need to catch uh, the unique smallmouth bass. Uh, the time frame is from 6 to 8 a.m. So that's in the morning at the sunny day. That's two hours. At the evening, I don't know. I didn't get uh, I didn't get the unique smallmouth there. And on a cloudy day between 8 and 9 o'clock uh, in the evening, so p.m. at a cloudy day. So what works for him? Casting spoon 21 gram 3.0 and the best jig 28 gram 4.0 that works for the smallmouth bass. So that was it for this movie guys. I hope that you guys enjoy it uh, and yeah have fun and have uh, yeah luck in catching this unique. See you later. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.